What's up, everybody? This is Silent Slayer. Welcome back to another PE Battle League video. So, guys, you all know Psychic Cup and Open Ultra League has started. So, in this video, I'm going to show like my top four best team, easiest team, and effective team in Open Ultra League. So, I'm going to show like two battles of each team. So, team one, we have Chrysalia, we have Giratina, we have Mewtwo Armor. Move set of Pokemon, guys. Chrysalia, we got Psycho Cut, Future Side, Moon Blast, Giratina, we have Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw, and Asian Power. And Mewtwo Armor, we have Confusion, Sash Strike, and Dynamic Punch. In this team, I use Chrysalia as a lead. Safe Sombo, we have Giratina. And Coverage and Finish Bow, we have Mewtwo Armor. So here we go. Let's go for the first match. And guys, if you like new on my channel, so please subscribe. And if you did subscribe, so watch my video till the end. Find some amazing team here. It's Chrysalia versus Pre Marina. It's kind of an average start. Pre Marina is like the Azumarill of Ultra League. I hope I got the Grass Knot here. I can easily finish the Pre Marina. Let's go for the Moon Blast. And opponent just thought I have Grass Knot and he uses for Shield. Let's go for. Let's go for future side this time. Let's see. We're gonna use his shield or not. And yep, he just uses both the shield now. So we got the advantage here. I'm gonna use my shield as well and trying to deliver one more <coughs> future side. Got the future side. Let's see. It's gonna knock out. It's just gonna survive. And yep, guys, he just a little bit survived. But he lost his both the shield now. And we got the advantage. Let's bring out Jirat and farm it down his health with the Shadow Claw. He got charging ready, but. Not gonna shield, but yep, it's a psychic, not very effective. Let's see what you're gonna bring. Let's see what opponent have, and he got the lap press. I hope it's not the ice red. Yep, it's not the ice red one, so it's good. You can easily take him out, and we got the Asian power, which is super effective against him. And I think this one is the serve because ice beam takes some time, and yep, it's a sub, not very effective. He's trying to deliver one more Asian power, but unfortunately, opponent just bring his Jira Dina, so we got two Dragon Claw already, so we're gonna do a back to back here. Super effective, and your another dragon claw. He doesn't got any shield left, so we got like big advantage here. So now let's bring out our new to armor, farm it down his health with the confusion. I'm gonna farm, I'm gonna uh, bait down his all the energy with the confusion. And we have like the dynamic punch ready for lapras. I'm gonna use my shield here, not gonna take risk. Yeah, we got the dynamic punch ready. I hope this one can knock him out the lapras here. Yep, guys, he just survived on low HP. We need to do one more side strike. I hope my Mewtwo armor survive. Yep, he just survived this up. And yep, he just got this side strike, guys. Like, really close win. GG for us. So, moving on to battle 2 with team 1. Let's see what opponent have. It's Chrysalia versus Shiratina. It's kind of bad. Average start because he got the Shadow Claw. But I got the Moon Blast here. And definitely it's in uh, Dragon Claw. Yep. Not the Shadow Snake, let's go for the Moon Blast. Almost take it out 50% of his health. Yep, we need like one more Moon Blast to knock him out. Again, not gonna shield, I can easily take down Giratina here. Let's go for the Moon Blast and it's bye bye to Giratina. And yep, he just used to trying to catch his move on our Giratina. Let's farm it down his health with the Shadow Claw and Dragon Claw. We need like one Dragon Claw. If he doesn't shield this, this is the bye bye to opponent Giratina. We got like both the shields save here. And he lost one shield. Let's see what he's gonna bring. He just bring his Swampert. Is that good? Swampert like doesn't do any match against Giratina. Giratina can easily take out Swampert here. Not gonna no, I'm gonna shield this here because I have to save some health. Because I think he likes something weaker against Giratina. That's why he's bring his Swampert. Because we got the shield advantage. Let's bring out Chrysalia. Let's see. He got the Excalibur. Let's go for the future side. Do some neutral amount of damage. Yep, not very effective, but then also do some damage. Not gonna shield Chrysalia is like almost in the danger, so let, let it go. And then again, bring out Giratina. And let's deliver the Asian power here. Got the Asian power before his children. And yeah, we almost take him through the danger health. Not gonna shield here. Yeah. Let's farm it on his side with the Shadow Claw. Yeah, I like the Mewtwo armor, full health of Mewtwo armor already, so I can easily take down here. We need like 2 3 confusion fast move to knock out Swamp, but we got one shield left, and opponent also got like one shield left. That's like GG for us, guys. Easy win, easy battle. So that's all battle for Team 1, guys. You can see this is like really effective in open ultra league. You can see 5 out of 5 matches. So moving on to Team 2 in open ultra league. So Team 2, we have Opshagun, Crobat, Mock. Move set of Pokemon guys, Opshagun we got Counter, Night Slash, Cross Shop, Crobat we have Air Slash, Poison Fang, Shadow Ball, and Merc we have Poison Jab, Dark Pulse and Thunder Punch. See this team I use um, Opshagun as a lead, Safe Soft we have like, I use Crobat, Merc both are like Safe Soft. So here we go, let's go for the first match, let's see what opponent got, let's go for the 
battle with team 2 of Shagunis C will be on is like pretty bad so let's immediately bring out our mark and opponent just bring his wallet but that could also be because the thunder punch is super effective against him I can switch to crowbat also but if he bring his wallet he can he can easily take out my crowbat so that's good thing that we switch to mark let's go for another thunder punch and I think this one is the bye bye to wallet he just survived on low HP guys we almost take him I think it's a nice little spear but unfortunately just bring it let's bring out uh, of Shagun farm it down his healthy counter and if he bring his Sylveon then again bring out our crowbat yep, that's what I thought let's see what he's gonna bring and he just bring his Trevenant Trevenant like also weak against air slash and got the poison fang also make his defense well and he's trying to save his shield for his Sylveon I'm gonna use my shield because I have to take down Trevenant because if Sylveon survive he can easily take down my of Shagun so that's good we got one shield left and he got the board the shield let's Bait down his both the shield, deliver back to back poison fang. I don't know why he doesn't use his shield. This time he's definitely gonna shield this year. It got double uh, defense fell. I'm gonna use my shield as trying to deliver one more poison fang. You got three time defense fell, so you need like only one night slash to knock out. 100% gonna use his shield. Let's immediately switch to Opshago and deliver the night slash. And it's bye bye to our Sylvan. As you can see, you guys, pretty bad start, but still win. GG. Moving on to next battle. Going to battle to a team too. Opsha gonna see Swamp, but kind of average start. I hope I got the attack buff. When Opsha gonna got the attack buff, he's gonna get pretty gone wild. Opsha gonna not gonna shield because I think like two high token and ready, and he's gonna deliver back to back on me. That's what I thought again. Not gonna shield. I have to farm it down his health with the counter and deliver two night slash back to back. Yep, got the first one. He just used his trying to go one more. Let's see, he's gonna use his shield. He's gonna let it go. His swamp, but yeah, he just uses both the shield now. It's like pretty bad. So, but got the advantage. Opponent just uses both the shield. Let's bring out Crowbat, farm it down his health with the air slash and poison fang. First, not gonna shield this Crowbat can survive one hydro cannon. And I know he's gonna two hydro cannon already. So, let's use the shield this time and farm his whole health with the air slash. So, we got the loaded energy for next Pokemon. Let's see what he's gonna bring. And he just bring his. Wall rain. I almost got the shadow ball, but because of lag thing, I can't deliver it. Let's deliver it now, and then immediately switch to our mark and trying to deliver one thunder punch before his earthquake. And yep, we just got the thunder punch, guys, really fast. Earthquake like takes some time. It's by about one, and let's see your third Pokemon he got. And he got the Tallow Flame, and opponent just surrendered to Zig again, pretty badly, but still win for us. So moving on to Team Three. Team 3 we have M Forest, Alolan Merc, Polybrath, most set of Pokemon guys, M Forest, we got Wall Switch, Thunder Punch, Focus Blast, Alolan Merc we have Snarl, Dark Pulse, Sludge Wave, and Polybrath we have Mud Shot, Scald, and Dynamic Punch. So this team I use M Forest as a lead, Sips Sofa, we have Polybrath, and Coverage and Finish Sofa, we have Alolan Merc. So here we go, let's see what opponent got, let's move on to Battle 1 with Team 3, M Forest versus Gengar, Average Start, let's go for the Thunder Punch. But sometimes uh, if you have like the brutal swing also like again good but focus blast is like the old also good in some places because in this one if you have like the brutal swing i can easily take down gengar here but also also do the damage here and opponent just uses both the shield now i'm not gonna use my shield i'm gonna save shield try to deliver thunder punch yeah we just got the thunder punch and unfortunately he just catched my move on a skelly was pretty bad let's immediately switch to polyrath we need like one scald here can use dynamic punch also Yep, almost take him guys. Not gonna shield. Gengar is like almost done. Scalibur is like almost done. Let's see what third Pokemon he got. I didn't see your third Pokemon he got. And it's the Lugia. It's time to lay one more Skull. Sometimes Skull make his like attack fell. Yep, we need like one Dark Pulse to knock him out. Not gonna shield, let's see what he got. Sky attack, we just still survive, and I know he's gonna bring. I think it's a shadow ball, but then also not gonna take a risk. It's a shadow ball this time. And we like one dark pulse, and it's bye bye to Lugia also. So, GG for us. So, moving on to battle 2 with team 3. M4 is off Shagun. Again, I have to start, but we got the focus blast here, so we got the little bit advantage. If he doesn't shield this focus, is like one shot for off Shagun. Trying to over farming, then go for the thunder punch here. Yep, he just usually he's, he know I got the focus blast, that's why he uses shield. I'm gonna use my shield here. 
This time really a one focus plus this time. We almost got him and he just switched to Traveler. So let's bring out immediately switch to our Alul and Mug and go for the Dark Pulse. So we got this switch advantage. Counter advantage we have. I think one Dark Pulse knock him out or he's just gonna survive. Almost take him through. Let's see what are you gonna bring. He just bring his Obstagon. Let's deliver the Sludge Wave, do some big amount of damage. We got Dark Pulse like also, Obstagon is like also Dark Pulse. So. And he's trying to save his shield for last Pokemon. I don't know what last Pokemon he got. That's good. Yes, he's the drain out his all the energy on Alarun Mark. So let's bring out Polydrat Farm it on his health with the Mud Shot. And let's see what third Pokemon. He got another charge. Like pretty annoying on Obstagon. Not like so fast charge move. And you guys. And he got the Vena Saw at the back. So let's deliver the Dynamic Punch. Skull doesn't do any much effect. We got two Dynamic Punch ready. Trying to do one more dynamic punch. I hope he uses shield so I can deliver the focus blast on M Forest. He doesn't use his shield. I'm gonna use my shield because I have to bait down his one shield. Let's go for the skull this time. I just, if he uses his shield, let's immediately switch to M Forest and deliver it focus blast. Yep, he just used shield. We got the advantage and it's bye bye to Venusaur here now. You can see he has really close win. We take out Venusaur like full force. So moving on to team 4. Team 4, we have Trevenant, Togekiss, Triplosion. Move set Pokemon guys, we got Shadow Claw, Seed Bomb, Shadow Wall, uh, um, uh, Togekiss we got Charm, Asian Power, Flamethrower and Diplosion we have Incentrate, Blast Burn and Solar Beam. So here we go, let's go for the battle one with team 4. Let's see what happened, got Trevenant versus Crowbat, it's a kind of bad start, let's immediately trying to catch his move but let's let's do it Shadow Ball. I'm gonna use my shield there because we're already stuck in bad situation, can't switch to Togekiss also. He can easily take down my Togekiss. The add slash and poison fang only and he just uses shield as well he's trying to bait down his both the shield i hope he uses shield but unfortunately he doesn't use it let's bring out triple shield now i'm sick of this crowbat i'm gonna use my shield so i think it's in shadow wall yep and it doesn't switch so i think like something definitely weaker against triple shield. that's why it doesn't switch and let's see and he got this obstacle let's deliver it the solar beam directly So that was like the big move and do some big amount of damage and yep that's what I want. We almost take out his obstacle trying to catch his move on Togekiss and we got like one blast one ready and we delivered the deliver the charm and he got the tallow flame at the back guys so we stuck in a again pretty bad situation but we got like one blast one ready and Traveler is like the already dangerous I have to bait down his shield. Yeah, that's what I thought he just used his shield. I have to win the CMP die on Triple Ocean here and let's see. Guys, as you can see, like really close CMP die. We just win here. Do some damage and he just, or just as I told you, he just win the CMP die. So we got the flame charge on Diplosion. We need like one Shadow Claw to knock him out and yep, we just delivered Shadow Claw, guys. GG for us. Really close in bad lit. Moving on to Battle 2 with Team 4. Traven and Assist style of Flame. Again, bad start. Let's immediately switch to Diplosion. I can switch to Togekiss also, but let's fight him with the Diplosion. Shield this here because I think you go for the Brave Bird here. Yeah, he just go for the Brave Bird. We got two Blast Bird ready, gonna deliver back to back. And he got the Defense spell because of Brave Bird. Let's see. An opponent just uses both the shield now. Something definitely weaker against Diplosion, that's why he doesn't switch. Not gonna shield this time, his Flame Charge. Almost delivered, we're gonna shield this here. Let's O farm a little bit. Let's go for the blast one and knock out the Tallow Flame. And let's see what he got. And he got the uh, Travenant, that's why he doesn't switch. So that, let's see what third Pokemon he got. And he got the Aboma Snow. Both are like weak against Fire, but my both the Pokemon are like weak against Ice, so we have to take out his Aboma Snow. Let's bring out Togekiss. Let's try to deliver one Asian power before his two other ball ready. You can see the damage of one other ball guys, he almost take out one rock slide Asian power but fortunately he just got us. We need to deliver one shadow ball before his two other ball from now. Abomas is like pretty danger here. Yeah. And yep, we just got the shadow ball guys. So it's bye bye to Abomas as you can see guys, really bad lead but still win for us. GG. So that's all for today video guys, that's all for today battle. Thanks for watching, please do like, comment, share on my video guys and please subscribe to my channel.